Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, AS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Nexus, the Void Spark Warframe. Nexus was created by Vakai Taki on the Warframe forums, and is pretty quirky because Nexus is capable of taking his arms apart and using them offensively. Fighting armless is certainly odd for a Warframe, but then again odd is rather subjective. Anyways, Nexus has low shields, high health, above average armor, average energy capacity, and an average sprint speed. Nexus's stats are all over the place, much like his arms. I honestly can't say for certain which role Nexus is meant to fill, and to be quite honest that's not exactly a bad thing. His kit's so weird that I honestly don't care what role he's used as. Nexus currently does not have a passive. Moving on. Nexus's first ability is Void Touch, which has different effects depending on who it's used on. If Void Touch is used on an ally, they will gain 5 energy per second for 6 seconds amounting to 30 energy total. If Void Touch is used on an enemy, they will instantly explode, regardless of level, as long as they are not a boss or assassin. The exploded enemy deals 30% of its health as damage to all other enemies within 3 meters. Void Touch is recastable on allies, so building for power strength will allow Nexus to reliably grant an ally energy over time. However, since Nexus can potentially grant huge amounts of energy with just 25 energy of his own, he might be a decent substitute for Trinity, at least in the energy department. The main concern I have for Void Touch is its effects on enemies. The instant explosion that Void Touch offers could be seen as a way to easily progress through the game, since it's literally a point and click instant kill, with percent AO damage. For a first ability, this feels too strong. At least for me. Honestly, I would just reduce or remove the percent AO damage, but then again the AO is fairly small. Nexus's second ability is Hands of the Void. For 25 energy, Nexus's arms become flying companions that punch everything near him, as well as collect loot and operate somewhat independently from you. While armless, Nexus becomes 25% faster, gains 10% damage reduction gains a better bullet jump, and uses his legs to attack enemies. However, Nexus also loses access to his equipped weapons, becomes less accurate, and recovers from knockdowns 50% slower. Hands of the Void is a good example of a trade-off ability. Sure, Nexus's arms become combat assistants and Nexus becomes faster and gains a little bit of survivability, but in return he can only kick to attack and is slower to recover if knocked down. Because Nexus's arms can gather loot like a carrier, it's possible that Nexus might be the one Warframe who doesn't need carrier. With another Sentinel such as a Dirig or Heliot, Nexus could potentially have three killer companions. That I like. Nexus's third ability is Sacrifice. Upon activation, Nexus loses 2 health per second, but his squadmates gain 1 health and 2 energy per second. Nexus can't be killed by Sacrifice. While I see this as a healing ability, really it pales in comparison to even Oberon's renewal. Sacrifice might be useful if playing with low health warframes, but it becomes stupidly weak if paired with an Inneros or Trinity for instance, because their heals are better. Sure, the energy regeneration can be useful, but it feels like Sacrifice was designed for tanky Nexus players. Sacrifice shows potential but the base stats for the health per second just seem really low, at least for me. Nexus's fourth ability is Collapse. Nexus explodes, dealing 300 blast damage within a 20 meter radius, with a 100% proc chance. Nexus reassembles himself in 5 seconds, using dismembered parts of his enemies, gaining additional buffs depending on which enemy parts he has. Go ahead and make your Alehu Akbar jokes here. Collapse sounds like a fantastic way to clear crowds of enemies while at the same time becoming more powerful by using the scattered bits and bobs of corpses to keep killing. Infested parts grant 10% life steal with all weapons and 10% additional melee damage, 
Grenier parts grant 10% additional armor and status resistance, and corpus parts grant 10% additional sprint speed, fire rate, and melee swing speed. Nexus can use collapse over and over, with each buff increasing by 5% with every successive use. This means that as long as Nexus's collapse doesn't have a cap, he can potentially reach 100% life steal, 100% additional armor, or 100% sprint speed. That sounds fine and dandy, but remember that collapse costs 100 energy to use, and since his energy capacity is nothing special, power efficiency becomes a necessity for anyone building around collapse. Because of the wide array of things that Nexus can do, especially with collapse, he sounds like a really versatile war frame to play. While his healing is on the low side, his tanking potential and damage output could be quite splendid if built properly. I wouldn't call Nexus Equinox levels of versatile, but he still has his own thing going on. With that in mind, here are Nexus's scores. Nexus is rather weird to talk about, because it seems as if he's trying to be everything at once. While he certainly might not be good if played as a healer, playing as anything else ought to be interesting. For my personal thoughts, playing Nexus as a run around and punch everything to death sounds like something Atlas would do. Well, it is something that Atlas does, but then again Atlas can't run around with his arms flying around punching everything to death. Nexus's so-called healing capabilities definitely has to be changed or massively buffed, but other than that Nexus seems good. So that's Nexus's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on Arcane. Thank you for watching.